Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Shoes. We are back here in the Katahdin Zoo on Planet Zoo today. We have a few updates once again. Like yes. We're gonna do another habitat today. I haven't figured that out for myself, but by the thumbnail that you guys just saw, you probably already know. Our lemurs, we have a female now, which I got for a cheaper price than 2,000 conservation credits. Very good thing, because that would really hurt us financially in the conservation credit sector. But we have a female, we got two males. The only problem is, is that my keepers won't actually feed them. They're only feeding through enrichment items in this particular habitat. They won't feed the actual other like stations. So I don't know what that's all about. I gotta look into it more. But for right now, they're just feeding the enrichment items and there's only three of them, so it's not that big of a deal. But our guests are loving it. Second of all, I apologize, it's raining, but I made this building here. I don't know what to think about it yet, but I was just kind of testing out the waters a little bit with some of the building pieces to see what matches what doesn't. Uh, we added a bathroom here and we added an information kiosk right here. As for the little uh, ATM stations, I was actually gonna put it right here and have it like slightly underneath. And that kind of reminds me because there's just a random wall sitting right here. I'm gonna see if I can remove it. Hey, there we go. So we are going for a little bit of a plan here. Now, right over here, I kind of did a little bit more decoration. Nothing too much. I hope this looks nice. I kind of just threw some decoration right there and it gave it an oddly nice charm. Didn't require much effort, but still worked. Hey, it stopped raining, awesome. But back here, as you can tell, we have our information and bathroom building, but we're actually gonna have a different headquarters. We're expanding quite nicely. We have our own little staff center back here. And we have a generator, keeper's hut, we're gonna move that. We're gonna essentially have a little headquarters right here. We're building more into the mountains, hence the the terrain <laughs> updates that I've been doing that just look kinda stupid. But let's do another, let's do another habitat. All right, but on to bigger news, the habitat. So this time we decided to do a tortoise habitat. I decided I didn't want to continue on to the other Africa area because this area needs a lot of help. There's a lot of dead space and I didn't want to just fill it with trees, so I thought this would be the perfect animal. Now this tortoise is actually from Africa, it's not the Galapagos one, it's uh, some tortoise that starts with an A, and that's all I remember. <laughs> but we go into things a little bit differently this time, not drastically, but we end up having to fix up both the staff path and we add more pathing for our guests. Now the staff path is the one that I want to fix up most and I also wanted to fix up the little keeper's hut that we had in the back. With the habitat itself we end up extending it several times. We end up using a wood finish all over it. Uh, I only really have a lot of height to the barrier in the back and that's mainly just because it hides the keeper's hut back there a little bit more. And we actually do customize the keeper's hut too, so it makes it look a lot nicer. When we come over here to fix the pathing, I want to set it up in a way where it's efficient, so I didn't want to forget about that. When we move in our tortoises, they have enough area, but the problem is, is that I didn't want it too plain. I could make a really plain habitat for them, but it just wouldn't be appealing. Uh, maybe not for the maybe the guests were fine with it, but for me, it's it's getting rough This isn't the beta anymore, so we actually have to try now But we fix up the habitat a little bit so these Tortoises they really need a lot of hard shelter. So I actually end up Making a rock shelter for them But there was a little bit of an issue and you'll see it here at some point Possibly if it doesn't go too fast, but when I was doing the hard shelter, it didn't really notice too much of a space where I was building the hard shelter. And since they're just a few tortoises, I didn't want to give them too much hard shelter. So therefore, I kind of made a secondary hard shelter toward the back of the habitat. And of course, I use a nice glass panel to look into where they sleep. I don't know how the effect on this is gonna be. I don't know if they're gonna be bugged by guests viewing through there, but we do have one-way glass, which is what we end up changing it to later. We make a very, very nice rock hard shelter area for our tortoises. 
I didn't really even use a null barrier on the side. I was just able to straight up hide the 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 barrier with the rock so the wood wasn't really showing and it kind of just went through the side of it. So it kind of worked out really well. Uh, I extend this because once again, the hard shelter didn't reach what it should have reached. So uh, it was only like 25% the first go. So I ended up bringing it back a little bit to fix it. And then after that, I ended up giving up and just making another little habitat behind there. Now, while I do that, I want to go over something. And since this is the ninth episode of the Katahdin Zoo on Planet Zoo, I am actually thinking about making a second zoo to our franchise. So if you guys have any suggestions whatsoever, please let me know. I don't know if I should do like an East Asia one or if I should do uh, something in regards to Africa. And then I also don't know what biome I want to do. I'm already doing temperate, so let's try a different biome. Give me some suggestions. Give me anything. I just want to hear from you guys because as it is right now, I feel like if I choose, it's just not going to it's not going to be experimental enough. <laughs> I'm trying to be more creative, so it's not my strongest suit, but you know, it's a work in progress. But back to the habitat. For our tortoises, we end up giving them like a little pond area, like a little beachy pond area. I think it worked out really well. They're not required to have water, but this also makes it so they can just go over there and drink out of the water. That being said, it gives it more of a beachy tropical feel, which I think is what we should be going for in this sense. I think it would work out best. I did consider removing the barrier toward the front by the viewing area, and I was thinking about making some sort of null barrier, null barrier where the terrain would actually prevent the tortoises from moving elsewhere. Going on to the palm tree toward the front here, you notice I do this little weird little thing with the barrier, and it's because I wanted to use it for, like, as a planter, and I've thrown some mulch in there just to give it a little bit more volume toward the front and make it feel like our guests are part of the habitat as well, just in a different way. That being said, I end up do moving it down because it was very high up, just so it wouldn't look so out of place. But at the same time, we also have to look into educating our people, so therefore we add a nice little TV screen. Doing something a little bit different, instead of putting it on the ground, we're going to have it high up, connected to some, basically some random rod that I found in the construction tab of the game. So it's not like I really tried to find like the perfect one, I tried just threw it in. The keeper's hut in the back came out, I think, quite nice. I was trying to do something a little bit different. I don't know if it worked out the way I wanted it to. But we end up bring a little bit of depth into it. That being said, uh, just trying something basically just random. Uh, so if you guys think it came out well, let me know. If not, I'm going to try to do something else with it because I'm probably going to do that anyway. Now one complaint that I had about this after I constructed the habitat is that I was thinking about maybe merging these buildings or like the keeper's hut and maybe like another building if... I could find a reason to put one in. I was thinking about putting them in between the two habitats and creating some sort of null barrier so it blends in a little bit more. Because I liked how it came out on the Okapi side with the large keeper's hut. And I wanted to do something like that where the window overlooks the habitat because I thought that was really neat. I wanted to also try to put some foliage, like some flowers, some climbing flowers or something like that right up against the keeper's hut but it didn't really end up working because I just couldn't find any uh, so I ended up just putting a planter next to it not like it really did anything special but one of the biggest goals out of this was to make something out of the area more by the guest paths so we end up throwing in our basic curb that we've been doing around the park our own custom one and it comes out really nice because it's it's not that weird like light colored uh, wood color that we've been using that comes with like the path the asphalt path so we do customize it ourselves and it takes out a lot of the curbs or like the curves in the path which I think just brings it a nice little charm and what you'll see here is that we end up trying to figure out how we want to finish it off I end up using rocks later which I thought came out really good as well 
we end up throwing some nice little like lady ferns, I think they're called, lady ferns, into our little garden here. Uh, now that I think about it, I don't think I changed it to dirt. I'm probably gonna make it a little bit more dirty in that area. Uh, sorry, I'm just thinking of all the things like I didn't do right. Uh, but essentially after this whole walkthrough, you guys are gonna see uh, things that I did off camera to finish it up because I'm just trying to show you what the main things I'm getting down in this habitat were to really make it something special. That being said, I also want, and I know I've, I actually end up turning this off a while ago in one of my walkthroughs. Uh, I probably shut it off camera because it's not like it should have been in the video or anything, but I did turn it off so uh, my zoo is only open during the day so it doesn't get dark out unless if it changes through the day. So I wanna see if I could try to have it work at night here. And uh, by doing that, I think it would really, really come out well. So I would also have to add lights into like the rocks and stuff like that, make it feel natural. Throw on some education boards, make it worthwhile for people to come by here. I end up throwing up an another education sign, by the way, on the other side of the habitat, just so uh, people can view it from two different sides and I can boost the education status for all my people. Anything but that, I don't think there's really anything else to mention. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. Be sure to like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave suggestions down below. I will see you guys in the next one, and I hope you enjoy the nice visuals.